Hey everyone, Cherie here. Thank you for joining me today. I'm going to create a spread using the December 2019 Life Crafted Citrus Twist Kit. So I've got this gorgeous stripy paper from the kit. It's one of my favorite pieces in the kit this month. It was the first thing I reached for. So I've got a strip of that going down that left hand side of the first page. I've got that blue pattern paper from the kit as my second page and I'm using more of that stripy paper to mat my photo. So I'm just adding that photo to that striped piece and for some reason I have trouble getting this centered so I'm just fiddling around making a few adjustments there trying to get it nice and centered onto that pretty paper and now I'm going to grab my sewing machine and I'm going to stitch down that strip on the left hand side I'll stitch a border around that blue page and I'm also going to stitch across the top and bottom of that photo so you can see there that's now done just adding a little bit of texture to the page using that stitching so next up I've got this stamp to go on and it says for the love of this is forming the first part of my title and you can see there I've got the letter stickers already chosen to make the word pancakes so this was about uh, one particular day Riley uh, was feeling like he needed a snack and all of a sudden he was making pancakes which he's never done before so that's something I wanted to document all right so I've got that stamped piece going on there with the letter stickers I'm going to have them going up the side of that first page because I do have those two smaller photos I want to add to the page as well so I'm just working out whether I want that stamped piece to go onto the striped piece or just onto that white background and I do end up just adding it to the white background there so that's stuck down just with some double-sided tape now I'm going to grab my t-square ruler and stick those letters down so the ruler is just going to help me get that title centered onto the page and then it'll also help me to keep those letters nice and straight as I'm sticking them down all right so the titles now in place but I'm also going to grab my sewing machine and stitch along both the letter stickers and that stamped piece so by adding that stitching it's just adding a little bit of interest but will also help to keep those letter stickers in place as time goes on as well all right so my two smaller photos can now go onto the page just got double-sided tape behind those ones and I'm using my title to work out um, how to center those onto the page so there on there now I can move over to the second page I've got my journaling block already printed I've used the typo font one of my favorite fonts to use so I'm just working out the spacing where I want to put these things I'm going to make that main photo into a tag so I'm just punching a hole in the top of the photo there and I could just thread in some twine and tie that to the top all right so I'm just working out my spacing now I'm going to go ahead and stick the photo down but I do have a couple of other things to go at the bottom of the photo and I've got this die cut piece to go at the top left of the photo as well so I've got foam dots behind that one and I stick it down and then realize I want it sort of positioned down a little bit more so you can see I make a little adjustment there shortly so just moving that down just a fraction okay so I'm adding some double-sided tape to the back of my journaling block but I do have a label from the digital cut apart piece that I want to use as well and a word phrase sticker from the kit to use as well so I'm going to grab those and just put them into place just to make sure I've got enough room for all of those as I stick that journaling down okay so I've got some foam dots to go behind this label just adding those on there just adding a little bit of dimension to this piece and then my word phrase sticker can just go in underneath that one all right so that's on there now I've got this other little word phrase to go on so as you can see I'm just tucking that under the bottom edge of that label just adding another layer there okay so now I'm going to staple my twine into place so it looks like that photo tag is hanging down from the top of the page I've got a chipboard piece I'm just going to put in between those two photos and I just want a little bit more space I'm just going to move that bottom photo down just a little bit and then I can add that chipboard piece in between 
Okay. All right, so that's looking good. I'm going to add some stitching to my journaling block there. And all I need to do now is add the date, which I'm doing just with a date stamp from my stash. So that's going on there now. All right, so I'll uh, give you a closer look. That's not that's all finished now. I can add it to my album. So I hope you've enjoyed seeing how I put this one together. Uh, let me know if you've got any questions. Just pop it in the comments below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Um, and I'll leave you with some close-up photos at the end. So thank you for joining me here today. I'll see you again soon with another project. Bye for now.